Hi, and welcome to the fifth episode, um, which is rather unplanned, but uh, today I got a reply from yesterday's episode on Twitter, and that led uh, to the refactoring of the menu code, uh, which is now generic, reusable, and the whole context menu code is now a lot better, and I would like to show you that, and um, I already have a blog post online. So this is just a quick episode about how to write a generic context menu class. You see already I have uploaded here the code which initializes our class, which actually is uh, called context menu. It's a template and um, actually the, the original question was why not use slots here? And the problem I have with slots is that I have the uh, context um, this, which in our case is a Q model index, which is uh, the, the index which actually has been clicked in the tree, needs to be um, also known to, to the slot. And I don't want to solve this over a member variable, which then may or may not con uh, has the correct index. So I've opted to implement a, a generic class, which in this case serves as a uh, provider for the context menus. It has two methods, a register action, which is basically to initialize the menu with uh, menu items, and also you know, giving it the, the lambda, the callback, which is then instantiated. And in, in, in this case, I have the context parameter of a Q model index, but um, the class is designed in a way that this model index parameter is actually now not existent for the template. Um, using a variadic template. And the other uh, method is display menu, which then is a variadic template member method to display the actual menu. And let's have a quick look at this class. Yeah. So, um, as you see, again, a flat map which holds the hash type and the corresponding menu, which is a queue list of queue action pointers. The register action method simply um, combines the hash and assigns the new queue action to the correct uh, queue list. And then I use a queue variant from value to actually put this. Uh, signature, which actually is supposed to be a, like a function object into the queue variant. And then in display menu, there's actually the code which displays the menu via queue menu exec again. Um, and if there is a click action, I access the data member again, and then I need to call the templated value member function of this class to actually forward the arguments to the context callback for this item. And let's have a quick look how this template gets instantiated and used in the main window CPP. So um, we already saw the use of the register action. Um, the delete action, I have several occurrences of that. So I just have this as one lambda, which is then uh, reused for some points. And the actual code for calling the menu is here in context menu. And you see there is a lot of code deleted. A lot of code is now being in, in a place where it can be reused. It's a much cleaner uh, solution. But one thing is still missing, and that is uh, shortly to show you how is the header now changed for this um, class. And there is our little dirty secret to make this work. This needs to be executed for any type which is supposed to end up in a queue variant to let the queue type meta system um, know how to deal with that type. And so I have to somewhere execute this a template before I instantiate actually context menu to handle the code with Q variant. And that's why I have to do this here in the global space. I've tried that in the class, doesn't work. I, I tried it in the template, which would be so cool if it worked there, doesn't work. Okay, so that's the way it works. And um, as you see, actually the, the callback is defined as a 
SDV function, so I can take different lambdas in there, and uh, then the context menu template is instantiated as the context menu. And that's already it. And next week, I'm going to take a look at widgets, why I use widgets, why I'm not using QML. And so thank you for watching, and see you next time.